Hello YouTube, today I'm doing a video on how to Bitcoin on the Raspberry Pi. Now, to start with, you're going to have to log into your Raspberry Pi, whether this is on the Raspberry Pi itself or using Putty. I'm just using Putty because the Raspberry Pi that I've got mainly used as a web server, so it does just live in a cupboard and it's always connected to the internet on the network, so I've put it into it. The first thing that you're going to want to do is install the libraries that you need to make to compile this software. So the first step is just copy these out of the description if you're using putty, if not you'll have to type it in manually. Uh, copy it in and hit enter. Now it will take around 5 to 10 minutes depending on your internet connection. You'll see on mine that most of them are already installed because I do quite a bit of compiling on this anyway. Yes. It was only 14 megabytes for the ones that I needed, and then hopefully it'll just continue to install them. And then again, you're going to want to do that with the second group. I'm not going to bother because I've already got them installed, um, but it's basically just copy and paste. To copy and paste into Putty, for those of you who don't already know, is you right click and you copy or control C. And you simply just right click again in the putty. There's no need to right click on putty and click paste because as soon as you right click it's going to paste that in for you. As you can see it's installing these packages now. You probably don't need all of these libraries. Um, these are the recommended ones for compiling any sort of software so I'd recommend having them in any way but you're not going to need all of them to make to compile this piece of software so I'm just going to cancel this just to speed up the video a little bit please do let them all install because you are going to need them uh, next step, you want to make a directory to store this piece of software in. So, I've just called this one Bitcoin D because I've already got a folder called Bitcoin. Um, this is just in the root directory of my Raspberry Pi. Once you've made the directory, you want to change the change your directory so you're inside of it, and you want to download this uh, Bitcoin miner. I'm not responsible for making this, uh, I will post a link to the website that I got it from. It is an open source piece of software, so it is it is free. You want to download that, and then you want to extract it using the next command here. Once it's extracted, you can change the directory again into the directory you've just extracted, into the folder you've just extracted there and then you can continue to configure it. This will take a few seconds, don't worry about that. So again it's just an X command, it's just dot forward slash configure. This will just check everything to make sure all the compilers are working, you've got everything necessary to compile it, and it also makes the make files. While it's doing that, I'll show you this piece here. Now, this is the command to start it once it's being compiled. It's dot forward slash, so you're executing that file, and it's minor D. And then, if you're mining in a pool, which I'd expect you are doing this, it's double dash URL, the URL of the pool, call on 8332 double dash user pass and then it's your username call on your password right. the next step when it goes back to prompt is just to type make and hit enter this will take anywhere between 1 to 15 minutes just depending on depend on what, what else you've got running on your pie this app to get piece at the top here this is based on the fact that you're running Debian. If you're running another type, well, another OS, another Linux distribution on your Raspberry Pi, you will have to use the command for the package manager that it uses. 
Uh, I'm not too sure what other operating systems are on the Pi. I've always used Debian, but if you're running something Red Hat based, it's going to be yum install rather than app to get installed. So just keep that in mind. That might also work on other Red Hat, but well, it does work on other Red Hat Linux distributions. Might even work on Arch Linux. I cannot remember. Right, so you can see that's gone back to prompt now, which is a good sign. That means that it's compiled the software. The next step is you want to copy and paste this command that you will have made in. You'll have made this for obviously your pool and your username and password. You'll be able to use this one as a template. It is quite straightforward. Uh, I would recommend DeepBit. I've used them since day one. They do tend to be quite good. You'll see them out of our videos what I'm using them for. So you want to copy and paste that into there again. And you'll see that it starts the mining process. Um, one thing I would like to say is don't try logging into this account because you will probably end up getting it blocked. I will be changing the password back to a secure password once I finish this video. Um, the only reason I did that was just so none of you guys see what my password is because I do use it for more than one thing. Um, as you can see, this has started. If we give it a few seconds, or even a few minutes, you will see how many hashes it's getting. So just bear with me for a few seconds. I'm going to pause the video. Okay, it's been a couple of minutes. I expect it to show the hash rate any second now. It's not going to be very high. Um, whilst I'm waiting for it, I would like to explain a few more things. The file that I've compiled, I will be putting into the description. Now that will be able to be run straight from your Raspberry Pi. All you need to do is use wget and then the link that I'm going to upload it to and then basically that you can use that, you can put it on your Raspberry Pi it will be dot forward slash the file name, I'm not sure what I'll call it, it'll probably just be Bitcoin D or Miner D um, and you can run that. The reason that I'm showing you how I'm compiling this is because a lot of people don't like using pre-compiled Bitcoin and software for the fact that other people could steal your hashes. So please don't go online and just grab any anyone CPU or GPU miner and start using it because chances are they're going to be stealing some of your work. So it's just not worth doing. There you go. You can now see it's getting 110.81 kilo hash a second. So it is extremely low compared to any other CPU or GPU, but bear in mind it's an ARM based processor. It's very low powered, it's not gonna it's gonna cost you pretty much nothing to run this, and you can still use it as your web server while it's doing this. This is only gonna use free threads, like threads that aren't being used on your processor. So you it might as well be doing it. Um 